Welcome to 5G Hub. Today, we will talk about 5G new radio through the equation and how to calculate the throughput in downlink and uplink. This equation prov provides information about 5G new radio throughput. It allows us to calculate the maximum throughput of 5G new radio network for user depending on his mobile device user equipment. Approximately, data transfer rate of 5G new radio can be calculated using this equation. The calculation is based on 3GBB standard. To obtain the correct result, it's necessary to enter such important parameters as mode of 5G network, number of aggregated carriers, number of MIMO layers, bandwidth, frequency range, modulation type, and so on. So now we will start explaining each parameter of this equation. J, number of aggregated component in a band or band combination in 5G new radio, the, maxim, the maximum number of carrier component is 16 component carrying, and that can be merged to achieve higher bandwidth, which helps to improve 5G system throughput and performance. And the maximum value is 16. VJ layers represents the maximum number of MIMO layers. In MIMO, the number of layers is very similar to term stream. And also the layers number can't be more than the antenna numbers. And the maximum value for this term is eight in downlink and four in uplink. QMJ represents the maximum modulation order. And modulation order means the number of different samples can be transmitted using the digital communication system as 5G new radio supports different modulation types for example QPSK 2 bits 16 QAM 4 bits 64 QAM 6 bits and 256 QAM 8 bits the next term is FJ it's, it its scaling factor is used for medium and high mobility and should be configured per carriers. It can take the following values, 0.4, 0.75, 0.8, and 1. Now, we will talk about Rmax. Rmax is value depends on the type of coding, and for LDBC code, maximum number is 0.925 or 948 divided by 1024. This is from 3GBB modulation code scheme index table. Now we will talk about a very important term is number of allocated PRPs or physical resource blocks per bandwidth per subcarrier spacing. And for that, we, we, we need to go to table from 3GBB to can determine the maximum transmission bandwidth configuration in RP for each user equipment channel, bandwidth and subcarrier spacing in this table. For example, if we are talking about bandwidth 100 megahertz, for subcarrier spacing 30, we will have 273 number of NRP or number of physical resource blocks. The next term is TSMU or average OFDMA sample duration in a subframe for mu i value. For normal cyclic perfects, mu i will take one of values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the average of the SMU duration 
will be calculated as per this equation. What's the next? The next one is overhead for control channels, and this number will be different if we are talking about FR1 or FR2. So it represents the overhead for control channel. It can take the following values. For example, if we are talking about downlink for FR1 or frequency range one will be 0.14. And if we are talking about FR2 for downlink will be 0.18. Now we, we can take an example for a network operator does have 100 megahertz of a spectrum in the 3.5 gigahertz range for 5G new radio. And the through it will be as below. The J will be carried component one, number of layer, for example, four, and the modulation will be 250 effects. So we have eight bits. The scaling factor and RMX is fixed values, as we see and also number of uh, physical resource block per pandas per mu equal one will be 273 and here mu will equal one and the overhead 0.14 so we can calculate the 5g new radio throughput or data rate in megabit per second or gigabit per second to be 2.34 gigabit per second this is for 5g new radio with calculation. Thank you for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Thank you.